Uh, let me break down this freestyle when we get out of here. I know uh, a lot of people, I got a lot of notoriety from it. A lot of people fucked with it. And um, this is overwhelming love. A lot of people, it's very lyrical. Not a lot of people really understood what I was saying. So uh, I said, um, my source got a good vibe. Though we carry magazines, basically, I started that off. I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. Source, Source Magazine, The Vibe Magazine, got a good vibe. But we carry magazines, the gun. Like, we going through this whole ride, giving niggas kerosene. Get it? Giving niggas heat. But when the thermostat switch, you going to need a bag of skis because the temperature is at a bad degrees. Basically saying after I give you the heat, when the temperature switch, I mean, self-explanatory, you're going to need a bag of skis because the temperature is at a bad degree. It's going to get cold. Probably because when I speak, niggas know my soul is too rocky because ice cream, I got cold stones in my body. Ask Tommy. I'm a dreamer. And go back to that ice cream joint. Uh, I mean, for my down south niggas, I don't know if y'all know cold stones, ice cream shop. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't trying to play y'all, you know what I'm saying? But, you know... I don't know, yeah, I got access to it. But um, then ask Tommy, I'm a dreamer. Tommy Dreamer, the wrestler. I see a bunch of seizures when I'm on the beat, boom, box, nigga, speak up. I see a bunch of niggas stiff on the, when, I, when I get on the beat, speak up. I said the boom box, you know what I'm saying? A boom box is a speaker, so I said speak up. Play on play words. Uh, a keep up with the leaders, cause time here is a feature. I'm the wine bottle they stashed for years in the freezer. So, get better with time. Now they got a grip, pop it open, cause when now I spit, they take a lot of sips, getting fucked up. Cause what I'ma give is much worse than hatred from Satan. Every raindrop on my brain need erasing. Cause it got a cadence. Basically saying, I, a whole bunch of raindrops that I'm getting on my head. This creation where I had to get the pitch cause too many curveballs I was facing. That goes back to the batter, playing with you know words. Now grab it and embrace it. Spitting game, I'm top five, but can't get the pussy nowadays cause I'm the nice guy. Bitches play me, say cool, but later they won't date me. Probably cause I'm crazy. Real shit. And I said, but I don't give a fuck. I ride all them bitches in the street. Cause from a distance, a freak is more given than received. Um, I would break that down before my hood niggas that fuck with bitches, I'm pretty sure. Y'all know what that means. And um, when you robbing somebody, you giving, you're not you receiving, whatever, you know. Um, I'm a hood nigga. It could get you a good stock, but if your mentality's a lumberjack, you would chop. They say the good die young. That's probably why God is bringing our hoods down one by one. But we don't really see it, because you speaking about that one dry tongue, but he an infant. He don't really feed us. Get it? The government just leave us. We feeling like God don't believe us. We looking at rap gods as teachers. Everyone deceives us, so we cock it and let it spray. Either that or we hit the block and we selling weight. Hoping that God will forgive and open the heaven gates. Not knowing it's Jesus who rose up on the seventh day. Jesus really didn't rise on the seventh day. And that's the whole point of the punchline. It's basically saying we do all this other extra stuff, but we don't know what we're supposed to know in the Bible. Basically, uh, we hope God opens the gates for us, but we don't know. Actually, you know, we don't read what we're supposed to read. We're not following the commandments. Basically, then I said, um, you niggas featherweight. I'm spitting heavyweight. Every drop of saliva could probably chop a machete straight. Every day you niggas bugging with flies. Look in your contacts and see you don't want it with I. They say the sky's the limit. How? When the sky could fall down any minute, it's not a wise distance. It don't apply when your heart's to God and the limit to your mind and your wisdom. Open up your eyes and listen to the boy that's in the slums. That's pretty much self-explanatory. Basically saying, um, uh, you know, Wayne always say sky's the limit, but it's like how? When the sky could fall down any minute, it's not a wise distance. And it don't apply if you keep your heart to God. Um, open up your eyes and listen to the boy that's in the slums Spitting like I'm double jointed with my tongue Ask Steve Nash 
you was loyal, but you done. So I threw him in the lake cause I'm looking disappointed in my sons. Um, or my basketball head, Steve Nash. Um, he went to the Lakers. He was very faithful to the Suns, but they went to the Lakers. So I said, I threw him in the lake cause I'm looking disappointed in my sons. Now, I'm too different. Assume this, if I count two, I'm the purest, nigga. I rap around you. You rap something that's pure. Um, we rap food. Um, spitting like I got dental insurance cause I'm pulling that wisdom out you. How you gonna doubt truth? I don't understand it. It's like y'all was born on the wrong planet. Day to day, you Janet, running around showing your chest well on training day. All right, basically, um, uh, Janet Jackson, you know, the Super Bowl, says you run around showing your chest well on training day. And you know, titties, think of bras, training, bra, I'm playing with words, but I said training day. And I backed it up by saying, I'll make them wash in 10 and then sell this motion picture. Um, you know, Training Day is a Denzel Washington movie, and it's a motion picture. And I'm saying everything I write is a motion picture. So I said, Training Day, make them watch in 10 and then sell this motion picture. Give the hopeless hope. I wrote this scripture like it was a broke adventure because I'm still poor. I'm just a diamond in the heart, and Yacht Clubs is jokers. I'm still bored. It's for my spades players. Um, Cause the cards I was dealt, it was real raw. It's like a king can't get a queen in this real world. So I jack him, and the deuces I say best. What the play next? I ain't get a spade yet. I was basically talking about uh, my life, basically. Like, I got bad luck with the cards I was dealt. My hand's bad. And I never got a spade yet. I'm starting to think I've been playing with a fake deck. So I give reality check mates and play chess. My chess players. Now lyrically, I'm as real as can be. The illest MC to ever spit a million degrees. You sounding silly to me, so I depart. When I see charts, I see chalk. I'm in it to win it in the art. Um, last few bars of the joint, I said, uh, when I see charts, when I see the, 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 you know, the record sales, I see chalk. I see a bunch of dead niggas. I'm in it to win it in the art. But now a nigga feeling like a dentist. I'm just drilling the feeling the sweet parts. Now listen up. That last bar was basically saying, um, basically saying I feel like it's my job to, like I'm a dentist. I'm in it to like take, I feel like the game is filled with a bunch of fruity ass niggas. So I'm just here to get rid of the cavities basically. Um, yeah, check it out, you know what I'm saying? I got a lot of a lot of notoriety from it. A lot of people been hitting me up. So if you haven't heard it, type, look at, type in Reality TLA on YouTube. Check it out, you know what I'm saying? Definitely a classic. I did a little little freestyle in the beginning, so it was like seven minutes long. And then the beat come in, then I spit that. Yeah, so hope y'all um, hope y'all fucks with it, you know what I'm saying? Download chapter one, chapter two, and the lost chapter on thatpiff.com. And um, yeah, holla at me. I, I stay in touch. Reality TV, logging off. I always say that before I cut off my camera. So that's it. <laughs>